Hello, I have your 1933 Elgin here, and uh, we'll be shipping uh, shortly. And uh, I had a wonderful time uh, talking to you through messaging on eBay, and uh, I love these Elgins, the 30s Elgin, uh, in, in the 30s. Their dials are so exclusive to the look. And uh, I just want to make uh, one comment in my experience as a, a watchmaker and one who opens up uh, anything from the early 1900s to the 1930s. That's my that's my love right there. Uh, the dials uh, of the 30s are exclusive to the 30s. You just don't see anything like them uh, in the early 1900s to, like you said, when they started making changes in 1927. But... Uh, Gorgeous watch, so I'll go over a couple things you probably already know, but I'm going to go over for others who might be watching this video. So, uh, this is the way I do everything to protect all the uh, keyless works and such on the watch. Uh, the mechanical, the, the the parts of the watch that wind it and keep it functioning, that's one issue. And on these, this is the way I, this is the way I do it. Uh, these are not waterproof. And uh, so I don't wear mine in the rain. And uh, you know what I mean by uh, being careful about that. And the other thing you probably already know is uh, not to leave them in a situation where there's a lot of hot sun just beating down for hours and it hasn't been moved. That'll dry out the oils. And there you go. So um, on uh, uh, the way I wind these is only in the forward direction. I don't go back and forth. Uh, just in the forward direction or clockwise. And you wind them. That way until they're tight. And there we're coming up to it. You'll feel it. And there we go. You're tight. Then <clears throat> to set the hands, instead of pulling out on the crown like this, again to protect the mechanisms that that uh, make it function and they'll last a really long time and if they fail on you i have parts so you'll always be able to get back to me and we'll take care of any issue uh so a pinch behind the crown as opposed to a pull a pinch behind the crown and i'll do it again you hear the click pinch behind the crown comes out nice and easy and then I move my hands always on any watch. It's just me. And especially on the, these older Elgins, Walthams, and Hamiltons. So you move the hands in the forward direction. Don't whip them around. Take your time. Enjoy the moment. Set your time. Push in the crown. And on these um, gold fill watches for me, um, I just use a little rouge cloth over everything that you see here. It takes your oils off and everything and you just use a little, a little uh, white cloth and wipe it clean. Gorgeous watch, gorgeous style, everything about it we love. And I want to thank you very much.